Kwento lang sa inyo ng aking karanasan sa T4T para malaman nyo, abingin ko bago lang ito sa akin. Natuklasan ko ang T4T only one year ago and I was way behind, way behind. Maraming nauna sa akin. Sabi, Kuya Dave, hindi mo pa alam ito? Sabi ko, hindi ko pa alam eh. So, nung tinignan ko, sabi ko, I have to do this, I must do this. So, nung binasa ko, uh, ang unang ginawa ko, sinubukan ko yung materials, yung open cell materials from China. At talagang hindi nag-work. Hindi nag-work dito. Iba. So, sabi ko, nakita ko yung structure ng uh, T4T open cell. So, nasubukan ko, iba't ibang methods na ipinasok yung T4T structure. Yung ginawa noon, yung inductive, maganda. For many years, it worked well for us. Yung inductive sa Ipeso, pero kulang. Kulang sa delay. It's not easy enough. It's not easy enough. So, kailangan ang mas madaling paraan. So, I tried some other methods. And they didn't work. The first method I tried, it did not work. Some methods I learned from other practitioners in other countries. I tried another method. It did not work. When I tried the, this, I tried the story method and I tried this type of story method that we're using and it worked. And it worked. It worked very well, very soon. So, tuloy tuloy na yan. So, sabi ko, una, una, ako muna magsasagawa bago mag-share sa kagaya ninyo. So, nagsimula ko sa isang lugar, starting from scratch, at uh, nagbunga, at ngayon, patuloy dumadami na. So, yan ang first step, personal application. Next step ay nagturo ako sa isang church. Sabi, okay, nagsagawa na ako. Magturo ako sa isang church. Train all their members. So, ginawa ko na yan for 18 weeks. Every Sunday morning, nandun ako sa isang local church. Nagturo ako ng T4T. Week after week for 18 weeks. Para magsagawa muna sa isang local church. So, nagawa na yan. Yung next step, ito na. Ito na. Ito ang hinihintay ko. Pinipigil ko ang aking sarili. Nagagawin yung unang hakpang muna. So nagawa na. So sabik na sabik na ako para sa araw na ito. So salamat. Nandito ang GIA. Nandito ang ibang denominations. So pwede magkaroon ng training for a group of pastors. So the first group is for GIA. 30 pastors from Metro Manila. Magkakaroon ng training para sa mga pastor and lay members Kayo magsasagawa, kayo magdadala sa church nyo. Nandito na tayo. My next step pa, kayo mga denominational leaders, nandito ngayon, nakikipag-sit in, kung gusto nyo ito, after this, magkakaroon tayo ng ganitong training for leaders of denominations, trainers, church, trainers of church planters from denominations, kagaya ng marami dito, at kayo ay magdadala for your denomination. Paano gagawin? Pag-usapan natin, darating tayo. Pipigilin ko muna. Ito muna. Pero sapat na sapat ng excitement ko para dito. After that, yung buong Pilipinas sana and beyond. And beyond. Yes. So maraming ibang bansa na ginagamit na nila. Uh, we're very behind in T4T kaysa sa ibang bansa. There are other countries even with the high Muslim populations, Buddhist populations, Let's start na nagbubunga na sa kanila. So, ganun ang ating kalagayan ngayon. So, nandito tayo every Tuesday sa Ayon sa Schedule. At maging available ako for coaching after the meeting. Every Tuesday. Kung sino gusto mag-usap, nandito ako. Kung gusto yung pag-usapan ng at any level, your personal implementation, your local church implementation, uh, your denomination, pwede na magstimula. Pag-usapan natin. So, ganun. Okay, meron tayong mga books. Papaliwanag ko yung books na available sa likod. Una yung T4T book. So nandyan sa T4T book, yung buong explanation, beginning to end, onto multiple generations of, of multiplying cells. Uh, nandyan ang paliwanag kung anong gagawin. Maganda. Maganda mga prinsipyo. But para sa ating gagawin, it's not essential na meron kayong book. Lahat na essentials, pag-usapan natin dito. Lahat na essential materials na kailangan nyo, ibibigay sa inyo. So, kung wala kayong pera para bumili ng T4T book, okay lang. Walang problema. Pero kung gusto nyo malaman yung buong concept, lahat ng prinsipyo, 
yung kabuuan, maganda ito, makakatulong din. So yan ang t for t book. Yung ibang book ay yung church planting movements. Ito bang book na nauna? This came out about 10 years ago. Tungkol sa church planting movements sa maraming lugar. At uh, pinag-aralan, ano mga prinsipyo sa church planting movements. Maganda din. So this is the broad picture of church planting movements. Yung lahat ng prinsipyo, anong ginagawa. But there's no specifics. So nung dumating ito sa atin, mga 10 or maybe 12 years ago now, excited ako. Nagturo ako ng mga prinsipyo, halos walang gumawa eh. Halos walang gumawa at sumuk actually sumuko ako. Sumuko, sabi ko, traditional lang, walang gagawa. Because there is no tools. There is no specific way. Nung dumating ang T4T, we had a specific tool. We have. We now have. Gawa sa China, but it, you see how it works in China. So the application of the CPM principles in China, nagbunga ng malaking malaki. And all we need to do is adapt the principles of T4T for here. Yan ang ating ginagawa. Kaya malaki ang aking pagasa. So kung gusto yung malaman yung buong church planting movements, maganda ito. It's broad, pero maganda para malawak ang pangunawa. Uh, kung wala kayong pera dito, no problem, no problem. Neither is essential, pero both makakatulong. Uh, kung pumili kayo ng isa, I would pick the T for T book. Okay. So yun ang dalawang books natin. Okay. Tuloy tayo sa page 13. Goals. Goals. Ano ang pwede maging goal for your church na mangyari bilang bunga ng T for T within four months? Four months lang po. Four months lang. Pag-usapan natin ano ang posibleng mangyari sa inyong iglesia sa loob ng apat na buwan. Tingnan natin ang typical result. Dito sa page 13, una, ito po ang typical result sa isang church na magsasagawa ng T4T. Number one, typically, 20% of the members will start open cells. So sabi ni Yinkai, train them all. Yan din ang suggestion ko. Train them all. But not all will do it. Typically, 20% will do it. That's across the world. Ang inasahan ko dito sa atin, mas malaki. We may get 30 or 40 or more percent. With Gia, with Gia, I'm expecting 50, 60 or 70 percent. Magaling ang Gia. Handa mga miyembro nyo. So I'm not expecting the typical 20 percent. Hey, get back. So, yan ang normal lang, worldwide. 20% of the members will start an open cell with their unbelieving friends. Then, number two, typically there will be five people in the open cell, on the average. Some are much bigger, much, much bigger. Some are only two people. Some are, I have one of 28 people in one open cell. It's our biggest. And there are other big ones. But on, it's very conservative, very conservative estimate will be five people per open cell. Okay, let's do our arithmetic. If you have a church of 100 members, 20% will open an open cell. That's 20 people. They will reach five people each. 20 open cells times five people per open cell. That's 100 people. It's 100. That's 100% growth in four months. That's typical. It's typical. And it is unheard of. Karaniwan, on growth rate, 10% per year. 10% per year on growth is good. Very good. On growth of Filipinas is 6%. The average church grows 6% per year. Ang pinag-usapan natin dito ay 100% in four months. Mga kapatid, this is typical. Oh. No. Kung mahina. Kung kulang kayo sa typical. Kung mahina kayo. Mahina ang church nyo. Talagang mga taga-attend, walang ginagawa, 
makinig sa sermon, uuwi, walang puso para abutin ng hindi pa mananampalataya, meron din church na ganun. Mahina. Mahina. Okay. What could happen in the church na mahina? Let's just say only 10% open open cells. 10% lang. You have 100 members, let's say you have uh, 60 members. Six will open an open cell. Mahina. Only six. That is very mababa. Sa so, cells, just say they have three people per cell. Three lang. Mahina. Konti lang. Kulang talaga. In a church of 100 members, just to make it round figures, you have 10 members that open an open cell, three members each, 10 open cells times three members each, it's 30. A mahinang church, magdagdag sila, 30 bagong mananamplataya in new open cells in four months. Yan ang mahina. Yan ang mahina. Which is so much more than the actual. Actual. Kung 10%, Magaling. This is 30%. In four months, not in one year. Yan mahina. Kumalakas. Kumalakas. Nandito mga jia. <laughs> Ito ang inasahan sa jia. Halimbawa lang. Halimbawa. This is page 13. 50% of your members start a new open cell. 50%. Mga kapatid, posible po sa Gia. Typical church, I don't think so. In Gia, posible, posible. Talaga, I am expecting many of you. Ganito ang mangyari. And let's say, okay, you have 50%, they open a new open cell. In the open cells, ang sadya ay immobilize natin ang mga bagong miyembro, bago mananamplataya, Siya rin ay magbubukas ng kanilang open cell. Let's say 20% do. Just 20%. Start the second generation. And we'll talk about how to do it. We'll get to that. So of the 50%, 20% of those members open a new open cell. And there are 8 new believers per open cell. Posible po. Posibling posible. Our smallest is 7 in our church plant. The smallest open cell is seven. So let's say you have eight. Kung ganon, you have a church of 100. You have 50 open cells. And then the second generation, you have uh, six more. You have 56 open cells. I uh, know it's some, no, it's uh, it's 10 more. You have 50 and then you have 10 more. You have 60, 60 open cells. And you have eight new believers for open cell, you will have 560 new believers in four months. Kumalakas. Kumalakas. Dinatin inasahan lahat ay ganun. Pero inasahan ko, meron din iba na magiging ganyan. Meron na. Nakita na namin, meron na na ganun kabilis dumadami. Kumalakas. Okay, kayo po. Kayo. Ano magiging goal nyo? Ano magiging goal for your church? Page 13 na po. Meron tayong goal setting worksheet on the bottom half of page 13. Ganito ang pwede natin isulat para gawin natin ang isang goal. This is for your local church. Anong pwede mangyari by faith in your local church in four months? Number one, what is the current average worship service attendance? Sulat na lang dyan. Kung yung church nyo ay 40? Sulat 40. 20? 20 ang what then? 200? Oh, ano? So isulat, what is your typical attendance at your worship service? Sulat dyan. Then, line number two. Line number two. New open cells that will begin within four months. What percentage? By faith, sa inyo, will it be 20%? Typical? 10%? Mahina? 40%? Malakas? 
Hindi natin alam. Wala tayong alam kung ilan talaga. But by faith, by faith. How, what is our faith? Anong prosyento ng inyong mga miyembro sila ay magkakaroon ng bagong open cell? So kung anong prosyento, ilagay dyan. Ilan sila. So ilabas ang cell phone nyo, uh, 200 members times 30% is 60 cells. So gamitin yung calculator sa cell phone, percentage. Average attendance times the percentage that will open open cells, yan ang bilang ng open cells. And then number three, second generation open cells within four months. Let's just say it's 20%. So kung anong number sa so line two, what is 20% of that? Write that on line three. That's your second generation cells. So we have first generation, line two, second generation, line three. Line four, parang tax return ito. Line four, total number of new open cells. Add line two plus line three. So that's a line four. That's your total number of open cells by faith. Then line number five, number of new believers per open cell. Palagay nyo, three per open cell, five per open cell, Bahala kayo. It's a rough, very, very rough guess. Very rough. Pero maganda. So, ang palagay nyo, ilan ng believers, uh, new believers per open cell. And then number six, goal for new believers within four months. It's line number four, total number of open cells, times line number five, how many new believers per open cell. And that's your goal. Line number six. X number of new believers within four months. Maraming po rin yari. So, maraming dadaanan in four months. Okay po ba? Oh, very confusing. Ayos po ba? Okay. Sige. By faith. By faith. Sabi ng salita ng Diyos, without faith, it is impossible to please Him. So, gano kalaki ang ating faith? Isula natin by faith. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Ito mga open cells, di pa natin nakikita. It's unseen. But that's faith, eh? Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. We don't see these open cells yet, but by faith we see them. We see them by faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please Him. Mga kapatid, by faith. What is your faith? What is your faith for? What number? Okay? Sulat po natin by local church. So, pwede mag-usap by local church ito. Uh, fill in 1 to 6. Tapos, ibibigay ni Gemma ang isa pang kopya ng goal setting worksheet. So, dalawang kopya po. Yung dito sa notes nyo, para sa inyo, ibibigay ni Gemma ang isa pa para sa amin. Kasi gusto namin malaman ang goal nyo, ipapalalangin namin at ito track natin. We will track this. We will track it. Makikita natin ang ating progress. Para tu pa rin itong goal na ito in four months. Okay? So, Mary, Gemma, pakibigay. Tapos, pwedeng uh, mag-usap by local church. Just take uh, five or eight minutes and set ang goal niyo.